I'm Claire and I am talking to Jenny at 7 p.m. Thursday night, the 29th of May, on the art of screening your clients. So basically the compulsory requirement um, on the Fitness Australia website for pre-screening does not differentiate between the physical life story of men versus women. So you have an opportunity in your screening process to get deep, deep into the physiology of your female clients and um, get enough information from what you see from your testing and from your screening process that you can literally change their life with half an hour of training a week because you've asked the questions. At the moment, if you just do the compulsory component of Fitness Australia's um, legally binding screening process, um, it is possible for a woman, and many women do, to fall through the cracks. So someone with pelvic floor dysfunction, if they're not asked about it, they're not gonna volunteer it, and they may be cleared for vigorous exercise, including burpee skipping and stuff that exacerbates their issues. So we're gonna take you through what your legal obligations are, and then we're gonna take you through what your personal obligations are for your female clients. And you can apply the logic across the board, whether you train men, um, weightlifters, athletes, or like we do, women, um, you can tweak your screening process to make sure that you are delivering the best possible session for that person. So 7 p.m. Thursday night, uh, the 29th of March, or you can join me and Jenny, um, and I will hopefully make a difference to your screening processes.